Good morning, welcome to Caddx TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, October 1st, 2014. You can follow us on Twitter at Caddx TV. Pro-democracy protesters kept up the pace in Hong Kong. Yesterday, they jeered the uh, chief executive of Hong Kong, Lung Chung Ying, basically off the stage when he attended a flag raising ceremony on China's National Day. Upon his introduction, they jeered and booed, and then he, when he began his speech, they turned their backs on him. Uh, this is unprecedented behavior in a uh, communist Chinese controlled area. Uh, meanwhile, a couple of thousand miles to the north in Beijing, President Xi Jinping uh, insisted that he would continue to maintain a hard line against pro democracy movement uh, participants in Hong Kong, saying that uh, he is steadfastly going to safeguard Hong Kong stability. Uh, the uh, Chinese government refused a student uh, um, request to meet. The uh, protests are now going to go on. They're occupying uh, most of the downtown city streets that have been blocked, forcing some schools and universities to close. And the numbers of people who are participating are now swelling, uh, now way, way beyond just simply university students. Yesterday in Washington, D.C., at a uh, congressional hearing, the director of the Secret Service, Julia Pearson, was in the hot seat. Uh, she admitted that, in fact, mistakes had been made by officers and agents in allowing uh, Omar Gonzalez, the, uh, the knife-carrying intruder who sprinted across the White House lawn, got through the front door, uh, bowled over an agent, and then ran all the way into the East Room and was headed upstairs until he was uh, tackled by an off-duty agent leaving his shift outside of the Green Room. Ms. Pearson further uh, added some information about the uh, incident that occurred in 2011 when bullets were fired at the White House by a person sitting in a car on Constitution Avenue. Uh, the uh, initial report of the bullets had been reported by a uniformed Secret Service officer who was told that they were simply gun uh, backfires from a car. Uh, the uh, reporting officer said that they, in fact, were gunshots, but she was dissuaded from taking it any further because she didn't want to have any recriminations from her superior. Ms. Pearson said that uh, that officer's fear troubles me now. It's unsettling. Meanwhile, uh, after Ms. Pearson's testimony, it was revealed that uh, just two weeks ago in Atlanta at the Centers for Disease Control, President Obama was in an elevator with Secret Service agents and a contract security guard who was armed. The contract security guard had uh, several criminal uh, charges against him for assault. Uh, the only people who are armed around the president are supposed to be Secret Service agents and police officers. The first case of Ebola has now been diagnosed in the United States. It's been confirmed that the man recently traveled from Liberia to Dallas. He's now uh, in the hospital in Dallas. The uh, Centers for Disease Control Director Tom Frieden uh, said that the man left Liberia <coughs> excuse me, on September 19th. Um, he started feeling ill four or five days later. Frieden says, I have no doubt that we'll stop this in its tracks in the U.S., but I also have no doubt that as long as the outbreak continues in Africa, we need to be on our guard. Meanwhile, down in Bermuda at Marco Re, uh, Dave Kalanoff, uh, President and Chief Underwriting Officer, is going to retire at the beginning of June next year. He's going to be replaced by Jed Rhodes. Uh, Jed Rhodes is presently the President and Chief Underwriting Officer of the property unit at Marco Re, so now he's going to assume both property and uh, casualty. Both, both men previously worked for Altera Capital Holdings until its takeover uh, of Mar by Markel in 2011. Uh, last Friday, a man um, uh, torched an air traffic control center in Aurora, Illinois, in a suburb of Chicago, uh, causing a uh, massive computer disruption, uh, which affected all flights in the Chicago area. The man now uh, indicated uh, yesterday that he had smoked marijuana before entering the facility, and he was described himself as being, quote, stoned and nervous uh, minutes before he started the fire. His attorney says that he made a tragic mistake. Uh, the man, who is, uh, his name is Howard, is his last name, uh, he said that he had recently been told that he would be transferred from Illinois to Hawaii and was reportedly disgruntled. 
He worked for the Harris Corporation, modernizing communications equipment at FAA facilities, but he was fired after the arson incident. That's good news. I don't know why anybody would be uh, terminally upset to be being transferred to Hawaii. Meanwhile, this evening, when President Obama arrives in Chicago for a fundraiser, he's going to avoid the two Chicago airports completely, and he's going to land in Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana is a uh, sort of uh, down on its luck town in uh, western Indiana. And he's going to be touching down on the 7,000-foot runway at the Gary International Airport. Scientists don't know when California's next great earthquake will occur, but they know an awful lot about what's going to happen when it does. According to a uh, geologist at the U.S. Geological Service, uh, Lucy Jones, she said there's so much that science knows about what's going to happen, and we're seeing that not being used. Uh, she's working with the Los Angeles government to help develop a plan. She said, quote, when the San Andreas earthquake happens in Southern California, and that's the most big likely earthquake in the U.S., we know that all the transportation lifelines, the electric systems, the water systems, the gas lines that cross the San Andreas Fault, we know exactly where they're going to break and what will happen when they break. This hasn't gotten anybody to do anything about it. So here in Los Angeles, where we get 85% of our water from outside the region, that means from across the San Andreas Fault, and aqueducts uh, that will break, and we can tell you exactly how many times they're going to break and where, they're break, where they will break, it's going to take 18 months to get them fixed again. And we have a six-month supply of water on this side of the fault, and that's only when we're not in a drought situation. Uh, Ms. Jones also uh, indicated that the uh, shaking uh, that was felt at the big Northridge quake, uh, which only affected uh, some 2 million people, is going to affect 10 million people. And it's likely going to trigger a catastrophic situation for fire uh, fighters. Of course, you're going to have many fires starting because the fires are proportional to the number of houses receiving strong shaking. We're going to run out of fire engines. We're not going to have enough uh, fire engines to handle the fires, and mutual aid is going to have to cross that broken San Andreas Fault to get to us. Pretty dire uh, predictions, but it's probably all true. Let's hope that some planning occurs. There was a 4.1 magnitude earthquake in uh, south central Kansas this morning. It struck about 50 miles southwest of Wichita. Um, no reports of any damage or injuries. And in the United States, one thing that uh, is ubiquitous when you're driving on roads are plastic bags. Plastic bags that are used in shopping stores, usually food stores, blowing in the wind, being caught on trees and branches. Not much longer in California, Governor Jerry Brown signed legislation imposing the country's first statewide ban on single-use plastic bags. The um, National Coalition of Plastic Bag Manufacturers immediately announced that they're going to protest and are going to seek to have a referendum, uh, which is going to be placed on the public ballot box to repeal the law. Meanwhile, four other states, including New Jersey, are proceeding ahead to also eliminate plastic bags. It couldn't happen soon enough. They are a blight on the landscape and are a severe threat to wildlife as well as to fish. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.